my channel on uh, this particular video just like uh, the other previous one on uh, Upwork I'm going to show you some of uh, the best techniques that uh, we are currently using to get uh, that uh, client remember this is one of the most competitive uh, platform to get a client to hire you so you need to be more creative for you to get uh, that uh, client so let's go to to the actual so go to your project catalog go to this point then uh, you click uh, create a catalog project it will take you to the next step okay as you can see we have not created any particular project so you click the create uh, create a project button it will take you to the next step having done that let's uh, see what we have so number one we have uh, we have the title you have the title so you need to think of uh, maybe the the niche that you want to specialize in and for this particular one i'm going to create uh, a project on uh, on uh, data entry so i will go to my search bar this part and uh, search data entry then on the drop button i'll go to a project so that i can compare with the what other freelancers are writing on then to ensure that uh, your project is highly optimized i prefer to use uh, to try to compare the notes with the the freelancers on the first page and as you can see these are the freelancers that we have on the first page so this is number one our number one is a uh, abdul then we have anuja javed then we have thikanis then we have uh, mariam md md then we have the rashid then uh, we have uh, shaitanya Ramesh, Umesh. So, for, to make your work easy, can you maybe you can think of uh, looking at uh, what this one was, has? The Anuja. What has Anuja written off about uh, the data entry niche? So, because you, because maybe you are new, you might find it quite hard for you to come up with something uh, nice. So, I would rather advise you to copy the way it is. So copy a professional quick data, or maybe you can make some a few changes, then you paste on your title. Then the next part we have, uh, you browse the categories. So the category for this one is supposed to be, this is uh, a data entry. So this is a data entry, supposed to be admin, customer, support. The main category is uh, admin, customer support, then uh, the subcategory is data entry. Okay, then you can select uh, all of these. Copy paste, error detection, data cleaning, online research, documentation, document converse, conver, conversion, word processing, all of these. You can copy all of them. Then for the keyword, go to the results, where we have the results. As you can see, these are the these are related keywords. So these are the words that uh, most of the clients used to get data entry, freelancer, those uh, freelancers that are specialized in data entry. So copy the, them the way they are, then you paste. paste the first one then we have uh, number two we have we have a uh, web research copy then you paste then we have data entry then we have data and uh, 
those are the main keyword then we have virtual assistant this one copy this one then uh, virtual assistant okay having done that go to the next step you save and to continue On this next part is where we have the price and scope, delivery days, and uh, additional, maybe to choose on the hard ons Okay, for this one, I prefer not uh, to have uh, the custom title, then I specialize with this one. Because still you are new, I would prefer that you go to what your client have uh, written. So we have day one, day two, day three. For this one, we have uh, day one. Day one, day two, day three. Then the number of revision, you can compare what she has said. Number of revision, we have two. We have a number of revision, 10, 10, 10. So number of revision for this one, we are going to copy the way it is, eh? since we are new, assuming that you are new from your side. But uh, as time goes, you get uh, used to know how much you can set for for the purpose for the revision purpose you can maybe change then the number of uh, number of hours we have two then 10 20 10 then 20 then uh, you can choose uh, all of these then the amount the amount we have 12 of 61 20 we have 12 dollars, 60, and uh, lastly, 120. Then you can add uh, this one, but uh, maybe you can ignore it. Eh? Let me see whether I... she has uh, she has that. Okay, for her, she has ignored this part. Okay, let's move to. The next part you save and you continue okay for the gallery i'd already created uh, i'd already created uh, the picture to use let me see where we have that okay we have this one so we have um, data entry, supposed to be a data entry. So this one, ensure that uh, had created this one to use. So as you can see, we have uh, this, the data entry admin support and this is Also ensure that uh, when you are saving your, your, cover, your cover picture, you save it with the keyword that you want to use. Okay, let me go to so we have uh, this one so i would rather to make sure that i will take the shortest time possible i will uh, drag and drop drag and drop then uh, upload okay okay let me see whether i have one uh, Okay. Okay, then save and continue. Move to the next step. Then we have we have requirement. So go to what your clients had said. Okay, when we have uh, so we have the requirement. So so copy this one. then uh, you paste do provide i will i will uh, correct that one suppose we do provide detailed instruction time frame and uh, relevant guidance to commence the project
okay because it's supposed to be a client need to answer before I can start so it's supposed to be so I'm supposed to use the do you then we have the step so go to the client go to the client uh, and uh, paste the the title then for the other part copy the whole of uh, this then you paste on then you then paste okay having done that go to the next step and uh, the next step in so paste seem that uh, does not work as I was expecting so copy so redo the whole thing okay then for this one copy this part then you paste okay now save and continue go move to the next step for the next step is supposed to be project description now for this one just as we have uh, done on the others go to the to wherever you are trying to copy from and try to compare what she has written because you find that uh, this particular project has been highly optimized so just copy copy our work the way it is so copy this one and ensure that you don't copy another thing and also ensure that you go through what she has said so that maybe sometime they some of the pre freelancers they tend to write their name in the description so copy that part and uh, and uh, paste sorry paste okay maybe you can uh, make some uh, few changes here and there maybe you can try to adjust uh, maybe the period okay having done that you save and you move to the next step for the next step which is now the final step ensure that uh, you write you change this one from 30 to 20 these are the the questions of how many projects can you handle at one time and still deliver great results and give it the maximum which is 20 then you agree with the terms of the terms and terms of the service and the privacy notice then you submit your work for review it will take uh, less than a week for your project to be checked by the upwork guys and uh, maybe if it need to be make some uh, changes they'll tell you if it's approved to go live as usual so those are the steps that you can take to create a great project so in the next video i'll show you now now to create a catalog catalog is the next thing that i'll show you remember that a normal application you might plan for project but uh, the good thing with the project that uh, the clients will hire you direct without having to spend even a single connects so thank you for taking time in case you have any question don't forget to write it down on the comment section i'll go on all the questions that i'll get and try to do my level best to answer all of them don't also forget to like and also to subscribe share with your friends let's continue sharing this thing let's try to improve our livelihood by being that uh, content creator and etc thank you have a lovely day take care